Jamie Lockhart? Yeah. Well, they say he created half a watermelon, spit out the seeds, and recite the 23rd Psalm all at the same time.
The Golden Fleece is the place for you. Well, I'm so tired, I could, I could sleep standing up, so how much for a room? For you, ten. Sixteen gold pieces. Ooh, sixteen? That's high. I'm, I'm a poor man. What? Oh, oh, Ain't you Clement Musgrove? The richest planter in the whole Mississippi Territory? No. Oh. I'll take the room. <laughs> I'll be to myself, won't I? I'm a light sleeper. <laughs> I haven't told you you didn't ask me anything like that. Of course you will. Unless the inn fills up. Up the stairs, second room on the right, past the piss pot. The azalea room.
hear about you all over the territory. But what's a fancy swindler like you doing me? Oh, believe me, I am here through choice. This spot and this bed happens to be the only place in Romney left to sleep tonight. So you just uh, slide on in the bed like a Jew breeze. You won't even know I'm here. Well, why don't you just get the hell out of here? A little harp. I'm mad at tired, so let's make a deal. I won't do no tricks on you if you don't do no tricks on me. Thieves on her. Thieves on her. Don't worry, big heart. I'll just make you think I'm sleeping. <laughs>
my daughter Rosalind. She's so beautiful that she keeps the memory of my wife alive and evergreen in my heart. Oh, your wife's dead? Oh, I'm sorry. Just a you and your daughter live on that big plantation? Oh, no, there, there's my second wife, uh, Salome. Now, she ain't as beautiful as my first wife, but she's a woman to reckon with. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's dealt with me to get as rich as I am. Well, even now, she ain't satisfied. <laughs> they never are. <laughs> anyway, Jamie, would, would you like to come to dinner on Sunday and meet my girl? Oh, well, that's awfully kind of you, Clement.
before you get slashed up. Why do you want my dress? It's a treasure. Hurry up! Are you sure you're the bane of the wolves? You can have my dress then. I guess. Woods. He said, that's a fine dress you're wearing out 
in the go field, picking herbs for the pot, and I'm singing this little song. Ain't nothing up. Ain't nothing up. Go for you. 
which I had left her the day before. Why, that's a... Gold. 
why, look at them! Silver dishes! Oh, oh! Where would you like it? Careful! I'm tender in there!
son. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> oh, um, oh, let me uh, ponder on it, Clement. <laughs> Your daughter is certainly something. But I ain't a man to marry lightly. What if I let you know about Wednesday? Wednesday, then. But no later. There's a pack of fellows after Rosalind's hand. Huh. Well, I'm warning you, Clement. I might just steal your treasure right out from under you. Son, <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Musgrove, Miss Rosamond. Clement, I can't leave without saying you are living in the house with the two most <laughs> remarkable women I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, See you Wednesday. Wednesday. Boy. <laughs> Ain't that Jamie Lockhart a fine-looking fellow? Is he? Ah, do it, Elvis. <laughs> All right, Missy, that's enough play acting. Don't think for one second I don't know what's going on in your head. Now get in the kitchen and stop. Oh, I'll help you in the kitchen, Salome. Let Rosalind rest. <laughs> the dinner was a total success. <laughs> Oh, 
to you. I like clean sheets. And uh, <clears throat> who says you're sleeping in my bed? I do.
bride from the clutches of this monster to then and I'll give you more than her hand. I'll give you half of everything I own. Claim it! You're right, boy. There's no time to be stingy. Take me, I'll give you everything I got if you get my baby back. <clears throat> everything? Agreed. I'll find her. By tonight, your daughter will be in your arms. God love you, Jamie Lockhart. We'll be waiting for you with the preacher and the landing.
exactly all that I get from you.
ain't no land into the woods. What you got there? Well, I finally got me a wife. Why you got her in a sack? Well, I bought her sign unsealed and task untested. I figured she must be in demand. <laughs> Shut up, or I'll take my mouth and slice you up the center. Yeah, get it over, little heart. This girl belongs to me. She's mine. But no, she ain't. No, she ain't. I bought you fair and square with that halfway, and I gave you much. Well, let go your muscle a bit, and I go. Into the woods and the ghost of Jamie Lockhart. You got your two faces on, and I see both of you. Oh my God! Oh my! Oh, I'm about to kill you now. No, you ain't worth my knife. I left it right here. I know I didn't.
Lockhart's house. He got my girl, and now I want to get his. I want to do worse than get her. I want to put Jamie Lockhart's girl in this sack here and throw her into the ravine. Right, turn back up on you, turn away on. Right. Well, you're some fine feathered friend, ain't you? Well, nobody flies out on a little hard.
I made a mistake. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, and this is going to be more fun than the other one. Because you're pretty like they say. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You had to ruin everything, didn't you? Musgrove's daughter? Damn! God. Don't you want to marry me? Of course I don't! I want to love you! Marriage is business, and I never mix business with love. Love? With no names? And, and those damn stains on your face? You don't want love. You want a little something to get you through the night. Not from me no more. I'm going home. Oh, good. Fine, go. Get out! Don't be here when I get back. Yes, you're my little head, aren't you? 
fine. She's dead. 